Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission showcase video. We have three awesome new Primaris executioners uh, for you guys to check out and they're painted in the scheme of the Obsidian Dragons which if you're not familiar with is from Tabletop Tactics and Lawrence and the guys over there. Uh, if you're new to the CCO's channel then CCO's is a UK based premium commission miniature painting service. Uh, we have 28 members of staff that all paint from an above tabletop level as our bronze level as a minimum all the way up to our platinum level which is a competition entry quality. Uh, if you are interested in a quote then what you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video uh, where the link to our contact form is on our website. So click on that link, go there, select the drip down options from the what those available and in the message section includes obviously a list of models in our format which is also shown on there uh, and you can get that fired off to us to get the a quote back from us and get the process started. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at these awesome executioners in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So let's dive in, have a look at these awesome, awesome Primaris executioners new models really really cool obviously massively upgunned from the repulsor which didn't, isn't something i thought that would be possible but obviously it is uh we've got some awesome awesome tanks uh with really really cool weaponry ben is one of the artists that has worked on this project uh loads of extra little details and all all these models have got loads of extra storage canisters not to mention all the weapons gems lenses and everything uh but let's pull them forward and have a look at them right from the get-go really really cool models uh with loads of extra little bits and bobs just to really catch the eye you can see all the lovely complementary green lenses that we've put on this model as well uh, just to match that color scheme really nicely and i do love the sort of like beading of light on that big square lens there as well you can see that diagonal like sort of like beam of light that's uh, catching from that top corner as well which ben has put on there lovingly uh, got those little canisters and fuel cells and things like that and ammo boxes that are all on there uh moving around obviously the back you've got all the, the extra sort of stubble weaponry at the back there with the lens picked out in a lovely complementary green you can see the storm bolter arrays on the turret as well which is really nice uh, again, you've got a lovely heat bloom here on this weapon here at the front as well, which is really cool. Same again on the barrel as well, which is really nice. A nice little dusting effect of, uh, of cordite or just sort of back blast as well, which is really nice. Uh, and then obviously you've got the tank commander there just sitting on the top there, which has been picked out in the uh, Obsidian Dragon's black scheme with the red pads. Um, but really, really, really cool, um, cool chapter, uh, custom scheme, which we came up with in combination with Lawrence and the guys at Tabletop Tactics. Uh, so that's just the first one of these awesome tanks. Uh, we'll pull forward all three, uh, even though they're obviously the same, but um, the tank commanders are slightly different. So you can see this dude's looking in his all specs, just trying to find the next victim. Uh, again, all the lenses, storage boxes, the little wet, uh, tools and things to fix the tank, uh, all done. Uh, the little lenses and everything all fully painted as well, which is really nice. You've got the... Uh, Obsidian Dragon transfers that have been applied to the uh, to the tank as well. Um, some extra little uh, Aquila transfers there on the front, but every lens and light and all little thing all picked out. Again, same consistency from tank to tank. So you've got a lovely, lovely unified force here as well. Uh, we have this. The the scheme obviously is black and red, but then we've got that sort of chipped kind of effect on all the edges and everything as well, which is really cool. Uh, little details like, for example, the power cable just there uh, to his suit from the tank as well is also uh, painted in a chevron power cable so no expense has been spared we've really gone to town on all the little details on these models uh, and believe me there are a lot uh, so that's just the middle chap and then we'll uh, we'll have a look at the, uh, the the flanking left one again very much the same uh, and I won't go through every aspect of it uh, as I have done with the other tanks but you can see here the same consistency on this tank as well I love the little red lens as well that Ben's done on there as well just to pick out and make one of the lenses look a little bit different uh, which is really nice again the same attention to detail from model to model and just have a look at the commander in a bit more detail so you can see him but again those lovely green lenses on his uh, helmet as well as obviously on the turret cupola and also the other little uh, lenses and big things that are on the uh, tank all the way around overall really Really, really, really lovely tanks. Uh, very devastating, and obviously Lawrence having three of them is really going to bring the pain and add some much-needed heavy support to the Obsidian Dragons on the channel. Make sure you go check them out, and if you're unfamiliar with Tabletop Tactics, then you really need to go watch their uh, battle reports because they are absolutely brilliant. Uh, stick around to the end of the video. We're going to go through how you can take a commission out with us and see these awesome tanks in a little bit more detail. See you guys back in a sec.
So thanks for checking this video out, guys, and I do hope you like these awesome three Primaris executioners that Ben has lovingly worked on. Really, really cool models, and uh, I do hope you like them. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, then very simply, all you need to do is head to our website. It's linked in the description of this video. Uh, you can click that link, and it takes you directly to the contact form, where what you need to do is select the drop-down options that are relevant for your project and you from those available, and then in the message section, include a list of models in our format, which is also shown on that website as well. Uh, once that's fired off to us, we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started. Also, in the description of this video, you can find all of our social media links, so Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Please go give a, us a follow and like, respectively, on any of those platforms just to keep up to date with everything that we do here at Siege. And finally, while you're here on YouTube, give us a subscribe by just clicking the subscribe button. And if you do hit the bell icon, you will be updated with all the new uploads which we put up. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I do hope you like these models, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it, really, guys. So thank you very much, and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.